Hi, my name is Mark Kubler, and I'm the U.S. Soybean Agronomy Lead for BASF. Our goal at BASF is to create an innovative, branded soybean seed business, and ultimately, a differentiated trait platform. BASF has designated soybeans as a strategic crop globally. And why that's important really comes down to investments and resources that we dedicate specifically to soybeans. One example of those investments and dedication of resources is with our soybean breeding program. BASF is one of only six companies in the US that are actively breeding soybeans. To put that in perspective, there are over 160 soybean seed brands sold in the US. So only six companies provide the varieties for those 160 soybean brands. BASF has six breeding stations throughout the US. One in Pikeville, North Carolina, focused on discovery breeding. One in Marion, Arkansas, focused on maturity group support, late three through an early five in Seymour, Illinois, focused on mid twos through early fours, in Nevada, Iowa, focused on mid ones through mid threes. We have a location in Beaver Crossing, Nebraska that focuses on early group two through late group three. And finally, our last station in Sabin, Minnesota, our newest station, which provides maturity support for late double zeros through a mid group one. Our focus is soybean production in the Midwest with the Enlist E3 technology, and we will have exclusive lines in just a few short years. Another example of the resource and investments we're making at BASF is on our trait development group. We have 10 trait development research stations throughout the US and Puerto Rico. These stations are responsible for delivering GM and non-GM traits globally for current needs that farmers have, as well as future needs that farmers have. One of the traits that we're most excited about uh, is an event called GMB 151. It confers resistance to soybean cyst nematode, the most damaging pest in soybeans today for farmers. This is going to be a game changing technology that we expect to have available for farmers to use by the end of decade. BASF also has its own pathology lab, and that's important because not all seed companies have their own pathology lab. We are committed at BASF to the full characterization of all the varieties we sell. We make sure that we screen our varieties both in greenhouse assays as well as in field disease trials to evaluate how they perform against all major pathogens in soybeans today. Our pathology group also supports our breeding group in molecular marker development and resistance mapping. BASF also has a team of seed agronomists throughout the Midwest. Their job really is to focus on testing our varieties in multiple environments to ensure we know exactly how to position and place each variety for that farmer's field. At BASF, we believe that all agronomy is local. So we focus our testing program on those most pressing issues that affect growers today like soybean cyst nematode, sudden death, phytophthora, IDC, and white mold. Our seed agronomists are dedicated to maximizing soybean production for every grower on every acre. It's really a great time to be a soybean grower. Growers have more choices today than they've ever had before. It's important to note that BASF wants to help growers navigate through all the decisions that go into producing a soybean crop. We believe at BASF, we have the innovations to put together the most productive soybean acre in the industry with seeds, traits, seed treatment, and crop protection. For more information, please reach out to your local BASF ag retailer or local BASF representative.